Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Chat, my weekly vlog series posted every Monday at lunchtime if you're in the UK and this will be posted a mere three days, I believe. Posted on the Monday, yep, three days before Christmas. So it's a little bit weird, I usually record these Let's Chats around about the Thursday or Friday before the Monday they're due to post. However, I'm actually getting ahead with my upload schedule for the Christmas season, so I'm recording this the day after the most recent Let's Chat has gone live, so there might not be as many comments for me to read. I did ask for some more on Twitter though, and other than a fight breaking out about Cha Cha, I'll, I'll read that in a second. I'm not sure if there's any more there or not. But yeah, this will be the last Let's Chat before Christmas, and then I'll be back one more time before the new year. And on the subject of my, my uploads, I don't think I actually covered this outside of a video that won't be live until tomorrow, I believe, if my schedule stays the way I have it right now. But I did some shifting around of my, my wires and whatnot. I replaced an old Ethernet and the home hub for my connection moved from where it used to be to somewhere where it's actually a slightly shorter distance away. Now, that shouldn't make any difference to anything other than wireless, in my opinion. However, my upload speed has changed from 0.4 meg to 0.9. And those of you on fiber optic might be like, well, who cares, that's barely anything. Well, when you're not on fiber optic, that's actually a massive change. It, it's making my uploads upload twice as fast as they used to. So if I do have like gigantic end of year videos, for instance, like the video you will have seen by now or won't have, I'm not sure. Um, no, you will have seen it. You will have seen my top five best and worst games by now. It was up on the Friday before the Monday you hear this. That was like 3.7 gig in size when it finished. It's an hour long, lots of, you know, high quality video in it, etc. If I was on my old upload speed, that would have literally taken over 24 hours. It probably would have taken around about 31. As it is now, it took about 9 hours. Still a long time, yes, but a damn sight better than it used to be. So I am loving this change. However, it means that my, my phone company lied to me a little bit as well. I inquired about ways to improve my upload speed because I don't really care about my download speed. So I got in touch with them and said, is there any way outside of fiber optic for me to improve the upload speed I have right now? They got back to me and they said no. 0.48 or whatever exactly it is, is all that broadband can handle. That's what the guy told me. That's apparently not the case. And my area is going to be upgraded to fiber optic sometime in the next 12 months, but it's not happening yet, so the infrastructure isn't in. So it's not that. So I don't know, I'm not, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, I have a better upload speed now and it might mean if I was to do another test of Steam streaming, or hell even maybe Twitch, I might be able to do it now, you know, if it's not a graphically intensive game. By the time you hear this I'll probably have done another test, maybe on the Saturday for the Steam group, I don't know. You already know how it went, but at the time of me recording this, I'm crossing my fingers and really really hoping. I might be able to get away with some streaming. That would be the best Christmas present ever, <laughs> if that actually happens. But anyway, I hope you have a good Christmas. Sounds like I'm ending the video when I'm doing this, and maybe I should do it at the end, but I'm doing it now. I hope you have a good Christmas if you're into that kind of thing. If you are not, or if you are, but you still have enough time for this, on Christmas Day, around about midday in the UK, a two hour long video is going to go up for you, and later in the evening there will be something else. I'm not sure what at this point, maybe something else equally long. Well, no, not equally long. I don't have any other two hour long videos, but you know, maybe like a, a rebirth run that went on a bit long. Um, also, I'm planning on Christmas Day at some point to share on Twitter and Facebook a link to one of the videos that up till now has just been for patrons as a little extra Christmas present to viewers. Only followers on Twitter or on the Facebook group will see the link, so I think that's still fair. Most of my viewers will probably still not know about it. And it'll be one of the standalone ones, not one of a series, because that would be kind of sucky for those of you who haven't seen all the other ones. So that's my plans for what's going live on Christmas. And with that, shall I do Twitter first or shall I do the comment section first? Let's do Twitter. So let me just get TweetDeck up and we shall see what nonsense has been going on here. Oh, um, good Rory and Draconak has got into a big discussion, apparently. So let me just scroll down. Here's the first question. Wait, this isn't a question, this is a statement from CR. Is currently internetless due to, I don't know, the potatoes in the Irish internet systems have just gone kaput. 
We have gerbils inside little wheels in Scotland, but in Ireland they actually have potatoes. Not many people know that because they keep on refusing to allow my edits on the Wikipedia page. Anyway, CR said, play more Warframe while I am away, need to train you for vault runs and the disappointment it brings due to RNG. Yeah, you really sell the plus points of that game by constantly going on about how bad the RNG fucks you. Then you said, potatoes are stuffing. Then Dragonakis said, potatoes are stuffing. My answer remains the same, which is yes. But then you also asked, what is your Christmas routine? What is my Christmas routine? Generally speaking, Christmas is just another day to me. I'm not big on the consumer holiday and I don't have any religion that is relevant to Christmas either. I have no religion, in fact. But my routine would be to visit family, to exchange gifts, to have a meal with family, but then go home and watch stuff on the internet. And that's what my plan is for this year as well. That might sound depressing to some people, but to me it's, you know, it's just another day. I don't see the need to go above and beyond because it's, mm, pardon me, because it's Christmas. But if you're interested in more details, I did actually cover that kind of thing in the two hour long video that's going up on Christmas Day, so I'm not going to spoil it by... Is that another goddamn Twitter message? Uh, no, actually it's about an eBay auction. I'll have to read that in a second. It should have arrived by now and it didn't. They're cruising for a bruising, let me tell you. What was I saying? I've totally forgotten now. Oh, the Christmas routine, yes. It will be discussed in the Christmas Day video I did, so I'm not going to spoil it by doing it here because then I'll be repeating myself in the video I've already done. You can hear it there. And it's not like I'm deleting the video after Christmas. So if you're on holiday for Christmas, if you're away visiting family with no internet or blah 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 blah, it'll still be there when you get back. You can listen to it whenever you want. At the summertime, if you wanted, for whatever weird reason. Anyway, so then Good Rory said, who would win in a fight, a monkey from Dimension X or a goat from Dimension Y? I would say the monkey from Dimension X would win handedly. And no, I'm not going to tell you why, because you didn't say I need to show my working. Then Dragonak has contacted me again to say if you could spend Christmas with any game character, who would it be? Aside from our Lord and Saviour Cha-Cha, to which Good Rory said, Oh, hail Cha-Cha. He also got me into a conversation with Warframe, or about Warframe with CR, which I did not agree to. Something about Rhino Prime nonsense, I don't care. Then he also said Cha-Cha for SummerSlam. I surround myself with very strange people. Uh, if I could spend Christmas with any game character, who would it be? Any game character at Christmas? I'm not sure. I can't think of any specifically. Oh, oh, yes I can. What am I talking about? Yes. No, wait, this is, I think this is a technicality, so it wouldn't count. Skeleton Jack was technically in the Kingdom Hearts games, so can I say him based on that, even though he's from a movie? You didn't tell me to show my working, so therefore I'm not doing it. I'm just saying Skeleton Jack there. If that doesn't count, too bad. This is another message from CR again, saying, Pfft, let me know when you get hate. That must be an item because it's capitalised again, and then lose it because of buggy doors. Yeah, you keep on selling the plus points of that game, alright. So we'll get rid of that now and go to the comment section on last week's Let's Chat. As I say, I'm recording this so soon after that went live, there's not many. And if you did leave a comment after I'm doing this, I'll, I'll answer you on there. And that'll be why, if you're curious why I did it after the fact. But yeah, I'm ahead with my, re my uploads and I want to keep it that way over the Christmas into New Year season and then I might slow down a bit. Anyway, DRC97. Hey Flick, have you ever seen the anime Dead Man Wonderland? If so, who's your favourite Dead Man or Branch of Sin? Never heard of it, so that second part, I'm not sure what you mean. I assume it's characters or whatever, so no, haven't seen it, haven't heard of it. That's the kind of thing that Rory probably knows. He replied saying Crowclaw, so I guess that's a character in it or something. Suddenly, Maya is the size of a Lagaracrus with horns, a spiked tail and can breathe fire. You didn't actually pose any question to that, so I, I think I've just accepted that is now true. I would probably conquer my village and rule it with an iron fist until the army came in and then I'd have to fight them off with Maya's help. And then I got a bunch of comments with just random animals. I, I get the horse one from Dragonakis, and then um, there's a few more that say horse later. Kwiku said cow. Oh, but you're not up on horse meta, that's why. Horse is the important animal due to it being a body part. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is he talking about? Horse is very clearly not a body part. Well, no, you're actually wrong. And the proof of this is in, well, a Wikipedia page if they haven't deleted my edits, and also Dark Souls 2 because horse is in the body parts menu. So I don't see how you could possibly argue with that logic. Horse is body parts. It's also the, a greeting if you're in CR's stream. 
Guildford's Gaming, hell yeah, with all the exclamation marks that make me believe you were translated in Suicoden 2 to some more Dark Souls 2. I'll most likely be getting the new version as well and get rid of my used copy and keep up the excellent work, thank you. But wait, which version are you getting? Are you meaning the PS4 version or PC? Also horse in brackets, goddamn CR. What, is CR forcing? Did CR like secretly tell people to do this or something? Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Stormkiller72, horse, just told me that he would love another Dark Souls 2 playthrough. I'm glad to hear the horse, the body part obviously, he must be talking about his penis or something, I don't know, is behind another Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Liam Ferris says he lives in Newcastle and they haven't had any snow at all. You're lucky I love snow. Snow is fine, I guess. I like to look at snow, I like it seeing, seeing it all blanketed. I love seeing like Maya running around like a crazy dog in snow because she just she sees it so rarely. She doesn't know what to do with herself. But it's when ice becomes slush or snow, uh, or ice rather, it becomes tedious and dangerous. Or when the snow doesn't quite land and it does become ice straight away. It makes it a death trap out there and that's what I don't like but and the actual snowfall I mean on the years we've had like really heavy snow I, I like looking at it but it is you know it's dangerous sadly so plus it means you've got to get grit everywhere and grit is actually bad for dogs so if you do have a dog of your own it's hard to avoid grit at this time of the year but try and make sure the dog doesn't walk on any of it or if they do wash their feet when you get in because you don't want them eating that stuff and that concludes that PSA on Grit at Christmas. Rory commented saying, I want to see you do a full dex build. Why? That was my very first character actually, the one that I played for review. I was basically dex. I started as the dual wielding class archetype and pretty much went through the whole game like that. It technically was on video a bit because I recorded myself killing Ancient Dragon and Dark Lurker as that particular character. So I've already done that as well. I actually forgot that was the build I went with. He ended up being sword and board though. I didn't stick with two-handed because I didn't understand how Peristancy worked prior to the game being, you know, picked apart and wicked. Also, how is your space doggy doing and which one did you get? This is in relation to Warframe bullshit again. And I can't answer that because you need like a hundred grand to breed one of the damn things unless you're willing to spend like 30 quid. So neither of those things have happened. So I won't be getting a dog space goat thing anytime soon. Terravolt, so when can we expect the next Souls Let's Play? I want to try and invade you when the game is out, unless I get it for review. So you're in a challenge run in Rebirth, by New Isaac Rebirth if you aren't familiar with it. You need to defeat Mom's Heart. No gold chests, no devil rooms. Your first and only item room is Bob's brain, but it can be rerolled into bomb throwing Cha Cha. He acts like scapegoat with bombs. A version of Scapegoat that chucks bombs that are, you know, live bombs so they would hurt you as well actually sounds like the kind of item that Ed would probably really, really like. You should suggest something like that. I wouldn't mention Cha Cha, but you would, I, I would mention that as a item idea if he's still looking for them. He was looking for some for the expansion on the Binding of Isaac subreddit fairly recently. He also did dot 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 horse question mark. So would I rather have Bob's brain with no gold chests, no devil room, so I would only be getting items from bosses, which means you'd be getting HP. I would take the bomb throwing cha cha because I think I could make better use of it, like I do in Monsarner. So there you go. Technically cha cha is better than Bob's brain, technically. You can put that on his gravestone. Daniel Nah, I'm completely neutral about a new Dark Series, Dark Souls series of yours. If I ever pick up that game, at least I'll know a lot about it, you know, from watching it three times over. What's your favourite word, I'm so weird? I don't really have a favourite word. I maybe have words that I accidentally use a lot, but I don't think I have a particularly favourite one. Let's go with... Let's go with... Globule. That's a good word. I'm also stealing that joke from something else. I, I can't even remember the name of it. It was a... I think it was a one-off special at the launch of Channel 5? And it had a bunch of comedians from like the kind of people you expect to see on Channel 4 and there were and it was a doctor's surgery. And one of the nurses say to the doctor, can I have a word? And the doctor replies, globule. And then the nurse says, huh, good word. I don't know why I can remember that, but I guess it's because I like the word globule. So there you go. That might help me in my current Patreon series, actually. Which you will have seen the first, everyone will have seen the first episode of on the Saturday before you hear this. But anyway, that is going to do it. Whether you are celebrating Christmas or whether you are not, happy 25th of December, either way. If you need distractions, I am going to be providing them, even if I'm not particularly 
here, present, whatever, because I have family stuff to do. My videos are still going up. I've, I've got a long backlog of videos scheduled already and they're still going to come. So yeah, there'll be something to watch if you need distracted. I hope you get what you want, if you are after anything. And I shall see you again just in time for the new year to tell you how my Christmas went. Ta-ta for now.